This is the Hungaro Ring, home of the Hungarian Grand Prix. And that noise of screaming engines that you might be able to hear in the background is a bunch of sporty AMG models hooning around the track. But we've come here to concentrate on a car that you might actually buy, the GLA. Being a compact SUV, this car sits in one of the most popular market segments there is, and that makes it big news. It has a new look for 2017, along with some new equipment. In fairness, not much has changed inside the cabin, aside from a few new colour schemes and finishes, so it has the same virtues and limitations that it did before. Virtues, well, the design is elegant and the quality of the materials is high, and this infotainment system works really well. Limitations, well, the dashboard does have a lot of small fiddly buttons, and this electronic parking brake works in a really counterintuitive way. Interior space is pretty decent, if not quite as generous as it is in some rival compact SUVs, while the boot is fair to middling for size. Again, nothing has really changed mechanically, so the facelifted GLA doesn't really behave any differently on the road. Cars like this need to provide a comfortable ride rather than exciting handling, and that's an area in which the GLA is slightly disappointing. Yes, it is better than the A-Class on which it's based, but you still feel a little bit too much of bumps and ripples in the surface, and the body can start to feel pretty floaty over an undulating road. That shortage of body control can also make the car feel a little bit top heavy in bends, but otherwise the handling feels really grippy and assured. The steering doesn't offer you much in the way of feedback, but it is very nicely weighted. This is the 220D version, one of the most popular, and that means it has a 2.1 litre diesel engine with 175 brake horsepower. It feels really strong from anywhere on the rev range, so the power delivery is always really easy. However, it's nowhere near as smooth or as quiet as it should be. In actual fact then, very little has changed aside from the nose, and that means that the GLA is no more or no less appealing than it was before. For our money, it is an entirely decent car, but there are better compact SUVs on offer.